We actually painted a lot already. We primed everything three times actually because all of these cabinets were really dark stained and they're gonna be pretty much almost a like cream white. So we want to make sure the paint covers it. I already got the ceiling painted two times. Me and Julie, we got the inside insides of the cabinet painted two times. So they're looking all nice. I got the bed area right here painted two times also. Today I'm gonna be painting the outside of the cabinets. And these are gonna be cream white. I'll try to do two coats, I don't know if I'll be able to do two coats. And when you're painting, you have to make like painting steps. So first you wanna prime everything and then you wanna do the ceiling. And after that, inside of the cabinets. And then you wanna do the top cabinets and then the bottom cabinets. So that way when you're painting, don't paint like the bottom cabinets first and then paint the ceiling or top cabinets and everything's gonna be dripping on your bottom cabinets. So paint everything from uh, top down. So our top cabinets are gonna be cream uh, white and the bottom ones are gonna be green. So you wanna not paint the green first and then paint the top ones and have them drip on the bottom ones. cheap way to make a carpool tray and then after you're done you can just throw it away So today I will do a first coat on all this low part with the green paint. We're at Home Depot right now trying to pick out a green. These are kind of what I want. This middle one that's deep radiant is the closest to what I'm looking but I still want something darker than that and I don't see anything that's in that green because the top two are more bluish and so is this perennial green and the garden cucumber is a little bit too bright but this one is kind of what I want but it's still this darker forest green. This is still a little bit too bright for me. So we're gonna head out to Lowe's and see if they have anything closer. If not, we'll probably just get this color. I don't think I'm going to do either of these. I don't want any sort of olivish tinge at all. I want like a true forest like green. Well, like even in this light, look at them. They don't look that crazy. So I, I'm not going to do these. I don't think I'm going to do this cucumber one. So it's between these two. I want something like this, but it looks pretty deep enough in this light. In the other light, it looked a little bit brighter, so... I might just get this one. Okay, so we're at Lowe's. I have these two samples here that I got at Lowe's. I'm thinking of doing this potter shed. It looks more blue-green on the camera. Let me maybe go into this light. Maybe like this kind of, you can see it better. So I'm thinking we're gonna go with this potter shed from Sherwin Williams. Okay, I decided on this potter shed in this Sher Sherwin Williams Infinity finish and semi-gloss. So this Lowe's did not have their product to make it a semi-gloss so we're gonna go to a different location. Um, the guy looked up a different location and saw that this other one has the product that they need to make it semi-gloss. <laughs> so we're driving over there. We're trying to figure out which cabinets we should do green 
And what we should be white? So that would be green right there, and this would be white? Yeah. Oh, okay. Green. You think that would look fine or no? I don't know. I think it should be okay. Oh my goodness. This is way too green. <laughs> well, I guess I'll mix up maybe. And it'll dry out, maybe it'll change a little bit. Yikes. Look at that. That's gonna be our cabinets. Oh man. This still seems really bright. Wasn't it really dark on the sample? This is crazy. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> yours. This was completely yours. This is the second coat of paint that's drying on these drawers. I was getting nervous about the color out here, but then I, I took it inside. Let me show you, and you can see the actual color difference just by inside light. Look at that. It's still brighter on camera <laughs> than it is in real life, but do you see that big, huge difference? Because nothing is going to be as bright as it out as, as it is outside. So, so I think this will actually be a really nice color for inside the truck camper. There's never anything as bright inside as it is outside. So, okay. So these are the three drawers that we painted. Just wanted to get in here and see what it looks like in this light, in the camper light. Or should we try to get it, like, see if they'll tend to a little bit darker still? Darker. Maybe. So we actually did go back to the store and ask for if they could make the paint darker, and they actually did for us. So this is the new paint color that came out. This was the old one. You can tell there is a difference. I like this a lot better than this. This is kind of too bright for me. This is what I was more going for. Um, but you never know with paint swatch what it's actually going to show up on wood or on a surface. So this is, I'm really happy with what, how this looks. It's more deeper, darker. So that's what we're going to be painting with. I actually only did one coat on the upper cabinets so far and technically you have to it would be good to do a second coat so it doesn't drip on the bottom but since the weather is getting cold I want this first coat to dry out more for a few more days before I put a second coat on so I'm just gonna do the first coat on the bottom that's not the best way to do it but I need to work with the weather because it's getting cold outside so 